Hey, I recently got a great question on my YouTube video, uh, get more customers by adding value first. Check it out if you haven't seen it. This question came in from Blaze. And Blaze says, how do I do, uh, or I do renovations and additions. How do I take this skill and uh, grow a company by mixing my skills with real estate? So uh, Blaze, you're in a great spot. I'm gonna to show you exactly how you do this and show you your three to five year plan in three minutes or less. Now let's assume you have no money, all right? If you have money, it's great. Real estate investing is easy, but let's assume you have no money. What would you do to mix your current business uh, with with real estate, okay? That's one assumption is that you have no money. So we're gonna really do a no money down strategy here. Uh, the second assumption is let's uh, assume you're good at what you do because uh, if you're not very good at doing real estate uh, or doing renovations, then you might not be so good at this strategy. So let's assume you're a good renovator, you're a good contractor, you're good at doing what you're doing. So this video is a great way where a contractor or a renovator uh, can build a three to five year strategy to build an income property portfolio with little or no money of their own. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is um, I want you to build the foundation of your business. That means that every renovation you do from here on in, any project you do is going to be for a real estate investor, all right? No more homeowners, you are doing projects for real estate investors, okay? That's number one. You're gonna do some projects for real estate investors. Uh, the reason this is so important is that you are going to build your list. In business, the money is in the list. I want you to build your list of active real estate investors in your community. Uh, so you're gonna meet all of the real estate investors. You're gonna be working for them. You might have two or three or five or 15 on your list. Uh, you might not do business with 15, but you're gonna go do quotes. You're gonna to talk to them. You're gonna make small talk with them. Um, and you're gonna put these people on your list and in your network. So uh, do renovations for only investors from this day forward. All right, seek them, look about on the classified ads, do renovations for investors. Build your list of real estate investors. Now, once your list is built and you get to a, a point where you're comfortable with a few investors, the second step in this process is uh, I want you to now partner with your customer, partner with these investors. Uh, so these people that you've been doing renovations for, for a matter of months or a matter of years, you're gonna take the one that you've built maybe the best relationship with or the person that really is having a problem in their life where they, they, they don't wanna manage it anymore, they've got some money and they're not really interested in the renovation process as much. Uh, you're gonna go to them and you're gonna say, look, I'm gonna partner with you, I'm gonna be the working partner. Instead of paying me for this, don't pay me, cut me in on the deal. All right, we're gonna go in on this deal 50-50. I'm gonna do all the renovations, all the management. I'm gonna take care of everything and you you put up the money. All right, if they won't go 50-50, then take 40% or take 30%. You can actually go all the way down to whatever your contract would be. If it would cost 25,000 to renovate the property, then take the percentage that's gonna get you your $25,000. Okay, so the, the most important point in step two is once you have a list from step one of investors, you're gonna partner with one of these investors. You are going to have them put up the money and you're gonna do the work. That's the working partner, okay? I also uh, it, uh, highlighted the word flipping here uh, because you want a, uh, an easy exit with this strategy or easy is not the right word. You want a quicker exit with this strategy. You don't wanna buy an income property with this person. Uh, you wanna buy a property, you wanna fix it, you wanna flip it. Uh, and you want to get paid and you want them to get paid because uh, this deal is proof of concept that you know what you're doing, that you have some experience and that brings you on to step three. Once you have the first deal under your belt and you've partnered, you want to go to step three is you're going to partner with others. All right. Remember that list from step one where you have a list of investors, five, 10, 50, 15, 50 investors, maybe a hundred investors. Uh, you're going to take that list and you're going to let everybody know about the success you've had. And you're going to say, I can do this for you too. I can make you money without you doing any work. I'll do all the work and you, you highlight your skills and the work you're going to do. Um, and you hit your list and you let them know that uh, they'll put up the money, be the passive investor or the silent partner, and you're going to be the working partner. Actually, on my YouTube channel, uh, Michael Saracini, I have a great uh, uh, tactical video about what you put in the contract if there's a silent partner and a working partner. So check that out because that's going to give you uh, the tips on how to start to formulate the thoughts for the contract. Okay, so step three is partner with others and flip a few properties to start. Before you get into income properties, uh, which is the ultimate goal for anybody in real estate, is to have that passive income. But start with uh, start by flipping properties, okay? And then after a few, you're going to get into some income properties where you're going to have a, a revenue split or a partnership share on the cash flow that comes in, the principal recapture, the active appreciation, and the passive appreciation. That's step three. All right, you're still working with other people and you still use none of your own money. Now you're going to have some money. This, for some people, this takes six months. For some people, this takes six years. There's really uh, 
uh, I can't give a time limit on how long this is going to take. But if you go through this process, you will be able to buy properties. And the fourth step is buying property with your own money because now you're making money. You're going to buy your own properties. Okay. You are going to buy your own income properties. You're going to grow your portfolio. You're making money with other people's money as you go through step one, step two, and step three. Once you get to step four, you know you're at step four when you have enough money to buy your own income properties. Buying properties with good rental economics uh, that gives you a good return on investment for the cash you're putting down and good cash flow so that you can buy another and another and another and get to five or 10 or 15 income properties. Now, you don't have to work anymore. You've quit your job or you've stopped doing the renovations or you do them only for yourself. So it's amazing. So there's the four step process. I gave it to you in uh, just under six minutes here, five to six minutes. You're going to do projects for investors. You're going to build your list. Okay. Those are the only renovations I want you to do. Uh, then you're going to take one of those investors and you're going to partner with them. Instead of paying me, cut me in on the deal. 50 fifties. We are partners on this. Flip the property for, so you get an exit out of it. Uh, then you're going to start partnering with others. You're going to take that success and now you are going to translate that uh, to make other people successful, to make other people money. And the fourth, now you got your own money. You're going to buy your own properties. You're going to build your portfolio and you're going to create a passive income stream for you, your family, your life, your lifestyle, your legacy. It's beautiful. That's what real estate does. Uh, so I hope that answered your question. I hope that was helpful. Uh, if it was, leave some comments. Let me know. I look forward to seeing other comments and, and, and look forward to seeing some other videos from me in the future. All right. Goodbye.